Assalamualaikum and hi guys. This is the M015 chapter 3 and we continue for page 20. As I promised before, I will show you the example to solve absolute value equation. Look at question number 12. Solve the following equation. Absolute value of x is equals to 4. We know that absolute value of x can be x or negative x. So, we will use this definition to solve it. First, we take x, then we equals to 4. Or, we can take negative x is equals to 4. So, we will get x equals to negative 4. So, this is your final answer. In solution set form, We use the curly bracket for the single number. There you go. Okay, let's try for B. Absolute value of 1 minus x is equals to 2x minus 5. So this is the absolute value. So we can define it as 1 minus x is equals to 2x minus 5 or negative 1 minus x is equals to 2x minus 5 and we will solve it to find the value of x but you must remember that when there is a x at the both sides you need to recheck how to recheck we will substitute the value of x into the original question Absolute value negative 1 is equals to 1. But 1 is not equals to negative 1. So x equals to negative 2 is unacceptable. Let's check for x equals to 4. Absolute value of negative 3 is equals to 3. You got 3 equals to 3. So x equals to 4 is acceptable. Means that your solution answer is only 4. Okay, let's see for question C. Absolute value of 2x plus 6 is equals to x minus 1. There is an absolute value at the both side. So for this case, I highly recommend you to use basic definition of absolute value of a is equals to square root a squared. According to the definition, Absolute value 2x minus 6 is equals to square root 2x plus 6 squared. Meanwhile, absolute value x minus 1 is equals to absolute value x minus 1 squared. Then we will use squaring both sides to get rid of the square root. We can cancel the square root with the square. So we only have 2x plus 6 square is equals to x minus 1 square. Then we will expand it. We will simplify it until we get quadratic equations. Then factorize it. From here, we can get the value of x. So this is your final answer. For absolute value, both sides, you no need to recheck. I hope from this example that I show you, you can try it for the rest of the questions. Good luck and see ya.